All right, fellas, here we go. Super Duper Jumbo, number 108 of 17 draft. Uh, no box toppers in this poly. Super Jumbo doesn't have them. Just the Jumbo skewed. See y'all later. Where you going, Bob? You leaving? That's a huge bit. Keep it in the circus. Freak. You know it, Corey. You know how much money we save on fuel? By burning all the paper base instead? One zillion dollars! Okay, Pats fan. I don't even know what that is, you scoose. Silver McKenzie for Cleveland. Green Casey Clemens for the Blue Jays, Refractor, and for the Tigers, Joey Morgan. This is how we do it. Papa, why were you saying you were leaving? What's up, Bugsy? Are you just trying to dupe everybody? Man, that was, I mean, I could care less who wins the, the finals in the NBA. But that was that was so frustrating to watch that the way that game, the way regular, um, the way the fourth quarter ended. Regulation. It was just, it was just so frustrating to watch because they had the game. They had it right there. I mean, that was it. They, the game was theirs. It was literally theirs to lose, and they lost it right then and there. It was over. As soon as it went to overtime, it was over for the Yanks. Stefan, Taylor Walls for the Rays. That just took the whole wind out of the team. Crazy. That Eo Sayo guy came over for us and said J.R. Smith thought the free throw was worth two points. <laughs> he saw that the free throw was worth two points and gave him the lead. Oh my goodness. How funny is that shit? <laughs> so bad, man. I mean, I... <laughs> 
LeBron worked his ass off to freaking keep them in that game, to win that game, and, and it just all went down the tubes by one bonehead play. So, man. How many times does LeBron get up and leave a press conference like he did last night? I mean, I, I don't remember ever seeing that happen. Riley Adams, gold paper for the Blue Jays. Blue Glaber Torres for the Yankees, and a blue wave, Colton Hawk for the Marlins. The refs blew some calls. It was some bullshit calls, no doubt about it. You know, I can understand that chart, you know, the charge, the charge slash blocking foul, but whatever way you call it on the floor, it's like you gotta, you gotta stay with that because... It just wasn't enough evidence to go either way, I don't think. I mean, I don't even know, like, the details of the rules in basketball, but you know enough that just by watching that something was wrong with that whole thing. Something was just totally wrong there. Uh, so far, the autos. Blue Wave, Colton Hawk for the Marlins, Taylor Walls for the Rays, and Joey Morgan for the Tigers. Tatis Jr., San Diego. Luis Gonzalez for the White Sox. Yeah, so they went to review that call to see if he was in or outside of the restricted area, right? I'm, I'm, I'm just learning about this restricted area thing because I'm not really too sure how the rules go. So that's what they were saying that they were reviewing it for. But then apparently the announcers were saying that this, this call can... It's the only foul that they can actually reverse based on a video review. But. So if LeBron was inside of that little circle thing, then it would be... That, that's, that space is supposed to be left free for... If he's inside the circle, it's a, it's a foul, no matter what, right? And then outside, outside of that half circle, it's it, it's if you get run over, it's a charge, essentially. But they said LeBron was moving, so it's kind of like the moving screen rule, too. You can do a screen, but you can't do a moving screen. You can do a block, but you can't do a moving block. Yeah. Crazy stuff, man. Kevin Mytan, purple. Cash case, green auto for the Reds. I don't think he knew what he was missing all that time, Paulie. Yeah, it was just, it was definitely an exciting game one. Did they, did they make any announcements on, uh, Tristan Thompson and Draymond Green. Hey Ted, what's up, man? They make any announcements on? Well, uh, is it? Is there any kind of ruling on that? Well, I guess that's part of the call, Nader. It's like a two-piece. 
decision. He's either inside or outside of the restricted area and or or and he's either inside the restricted area and it's a foul or outside the restricted area set not a foul moving foul. It's like a conditional thing, I guess. It must be how the rules written. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Draymond Green is just like, you know, Draymond Green's one of those guys that if he's not on your team, he's so easy to hate, but they probably love that guy there, man. He's he's probably like one of the favorite guys of the Warriors, I would imagine. That guy is just, I just couldn't imagine playing against him. He'd make me want to strangle him. <laughs> he's, he's nuts. He's a complete psycho on the floor. Tucker for the Astros. But that's, I mean, that works for them. It works, clearly. 70th Blue Martin. Hazily for the Phillies. There you go, Chase. Ah. Oh, the taunting. I mean the taunting in the NFL is a major no no. I'm surprised they don't they don't get teed up for that in the in basketball. You know? I mean they basically have all the rules in the NBA to keep it from being a street game, right? Street games, taunting and all that shit is like kosher. But in the in the NBA, you would think that they would do something to try and stop it or limit it somewhat. Like uh, Jeff Van Gundy was saying during one of the series, maybe the Pacers series or something like that, uh, that he thinks they should eliminate the fast break foul. But if you eliminate the fast break foul, I mean, you get guys just, they'll just be pulling each other and throwing them on the floor. <laughs> you know? Rutherford for the White Sox, purple. Brendan Murphy for the Brewers. Dusty. That barking. What do you mean, Oregon against the Yankees? Papa, tell FOTL. Tell them about the Yankees. Was all the Yankee fans are were having like a rejuvenated love for the team this year and last year because of all the young talent, the farm developed talent. Picking up uh, Giancarlo was like the only the only crazy major super uh, acquisition that they've made. It's all been farm talent. Varsho Blue, Royce Lewis, facsimile for the Twins, and a 70th Corey for the Giants. Just like Kevin Durant. They, they came, he came up through the Warriors system, FOTL. <laughs> Come on, man. Did 
Don't get Bapa started on his Warriors, the Warriors rant. He went completely off that one day. Off the deep end. Kilom for the Phillies. Mickey Moniak, the funny moments, Refractor, and Vientos for the Mets. Well, there's a cap in which a luxury tax has to be paid if you're above it, right? I don't know how the MLB works, but I mean the uh, I don't know how the NBA works, but that's how the uh, MLB. So if your salary is above a certain amount, you got to pay a luxury tax, right? So, a threshold. The salary threshold. Call it a salary th threshold. Now, the NFL is completely different, right? They don't allow any instance of being over the salary cap in the NFL. Is that, Am I correct on that one? There's no no going above the NFL salary cap. Zooch, Blue Jays purple paper, refractor Pearson for the Angels. Refractor. Unicorn, I'm kind of disturbed that you and I like the same NFL team. It's kind of disturbing to me. The idea of sharing a like for anything that you like is disturbing to me, Ninja. I might have to not be a Niner fan anymore if you continue this. If you continue liking the Niners, Ninja, I might be forced to stop liking them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, those guys are they're building that team to win right now and they're not going to have a choice if it doesn't happen it's going to be disassembled real quick if they don't
How are they cheating, Corey? I gotta hear this one. Bandwagon of the Eagles? I used to kind of be like a Donovan McNabb fan on the low. I always had respect for that guy's game. I always thought he was really good. Always. But I'm not an eagle liker. They do have some passionate fans. Though. I've been to a game there with a bunch of giant fans rocking their jerseys, and uh, it was brutal. Diaz, 499. Those guys were getting spit on and stuff. Eloy Green and Hensman for the White Sox. Z fucking Vents? Yeah, no, Wentz has definitely got respectable game. Definitely. Definitely. It's really a conditional cap, is really probably the proper way to talk about it. Probably the best way to de describe what goes on in the MLB. They have a cap, per se, but if you want to go above the cap, you can take a conditional situation and pay a tax. So it's like a conditional cap. Or a flexible cap. <laughs> it's just a threshold, man. They still call it the cap, though, don't they? Isn't that the official term they use? There's a salary cap with a... Sedlock for the Orioles, 499. Hansen for the White Sox, purple. And Lothar for the Orioles. Autograph. Well, if you're married to the cop, probably not. If it's like your brother, sister, cousin, maybe not, FOTO. <laughs> yes, in the MLB, you cannot go above a certain number. But if you want to go above a certain number, you can pay a tax. <laughs> no, you can't go above this number. Well, you can if you pay a tax. Charlie Barnes for the Twins gold paper, 8 of 50. Doo -doo -doo. How, is that 16 draft super getting low enough to do a filler after this? 70th Fiedo for the Tigers and a 70th Stuart Fairchild autograph for the Reds. Are you serious, DC? Wow. I guess that answers that question. I must have the teams way too cheap if it's flying like that, DC. What do you think? What, Micah? 
You told me to load after I said I was going to load it? Don't try and take credit for this, Micah. Until I told you we even had some, you didn't even know. <laughs> Come on, Micah. Don't play me like that, Micah. <laughs> Cop, you're getting uh, recommended to become a president. Where'd he go? He left? Cop, you're being nominated. Cal Quantrill, Cal Quantrill, San Diego. Joe Perez Astros. What's good, Hitman? How goes it, sir? Yeah, you could tell LeBron. LeBron was uh, mega frustrated. I kind of felt bad for the guy, you know. You know, bottom line is he's their only, he's their only hope. Like, if LeBron went down, if he got injured in the Pacers series, they don't win, they don't have a chance against the Pacers. They certainly don't have a chance uh, against the Raptors, the Pacers, the Celtics. They don't have a chance against anybody without LeBron. But it's not like that for the Warriors. Like, if Clay Thompson or Curry or Durant went down, that team could still be competitive and win the whole thing. So for him, it's like he's got to exhaust himself every single game. You just feel bad for the guy. That's just a sucky way to lose right there. <laughs> you think so, Mushu? Purple Hanson for the White Sox. Nice one for the Padres. Mackenzie Gore defining moments autograph. Bapa Tapa. 88 of 99. Woo! Moniac, Moniac stock is down, but uh, he said don't count him out yet. That's what Mickey said. Yeah, his cards are definitely way down. But he's still a young, he's just a baby. A lot of these kids are just babies, man. They said MLB player's prime is like around the 27 age, right? Isn't that what they say? So that means they'll play their best ball when they're 27 years old or start to play their best ball when they're 27. A lot of these guys are not even 20. They're just babies. 27 to 32. Yeah, I mean, the kid's 19, 18, 19 years old, 20 years old. I mean, I don't know. Is it fair to make an assessment on them at that age? Whether they're going to be totally sucky or be great? I mean, you really don't know. Obviously, he's got some talent, or I highly doubt he would have been drafted number one overall by anybody. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> Bartolo Cologne. I wonder how frequently they test Bar Bartolo Colon for roids, for PEDs. Like, once you get caught, you would think, like, they, they increase the frequency of how often you get tested, right? The whole Bartolo thing is crazy. He can never, like he ha has he, how many seasons has Kershaw had where he didn't get on the DL once? Has he had any? I feel like he's, I feel like he's always on the DL, man.
He's got uh, bad back issues, right? The draft super? Yeah, today, Flam, if I can. I'll try it right after this if, if you guys want to do it. Tarnock for the Braves, four ninety nine. Recommended viewing gold coming up. Peyton Remy for the Cubs blue. Kyle uh, Royce Lewis and Brent Rooker. I pulled the super of this card very early in this product. This one is 31 of 50. Base or autograph? Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. Exactly, Mushu. Exactly. Mike Trout owns everybody. Mike Trout does not discriminate against pitchers. He owns them all. <laughs> I wonder if you ask Mike Trout who the most... Who his fiercest pitching competitor is, who he says. I wonder what his answer would be to that question. Come on, screen. You're the screenshot king of the world, Stone Cold. Where's the screenshot, pal? <laughs> Y'all been duped. Duped. <laughs> Don't believe Stone Cold unless there's a screenshot. Peter Sullivan, inverted. Delvin Perez for the Cardinals, Purple Refractor, and Austin Beck for Oakland. Solomon's a bonus. Yo, listen, Stone Cold, if the MLB calls it a salary cap, you can debate it all you want, but that's the official term. It may not indeed be a cap, but that's what it is. Mike Trout reveals who he thinks the best pitcher in the MLB is. They actually did this? Really, Micah? Who are his top five, Micah? You know, without me clicking it. Scherzer? Yeah, I mean, Scherzer is, uh... He's arguably the best pitcher in baseball right now. Little for the Cubs, blue paper. Gold, Heatherly for the Reds, refractor. 50 of 50, the last one stamped. Or was it the first one stamped? We'll never know. He says Otani. <laughs> Dio Hole, purple for the Orioles. Stone Cold, are you Yeo Seo? Is that you? If so, I gotta give you props. That's that's a hilarious that's a hilarious little personality you got going. Classic. He's gotta be right. It's gotta be him. He puts a question mark like he doesn't know. What's Yo Seo? What you talk about, man? I don't know what you're saying. That's not me. Who's 
number two behind uh, Scherzer in the trout book. Oh, okay. Because the link says top five or something. Let me top all five photos. It really is not you, Stone Cold? Whoever's doing that Yo Seo is it's hilarious. It's so funny. Grier for the D backs. Lutz for the Brewers. <laughs> Trout's just unbelievable, huh? Guys, he's like a phenom. Crazy good. So good. What a player. The Boz. What's up, Queen? What kind of promotion did he get? I'll leave him alone, Stone Cold. Why you gotta fuck with him? Stone Cold, you should really mess with the king if you're gonna mess with anybody in here. King comes in here, all oh, hail the king, all this stuff on his pompous high horse. Go after the king if you're gonna go after anybody. <laughs> Leave Bop alone. Purple paper, Matt Manning, Tigers. Brody, Refractor Auto for the Mets. <sighs> no. Frank, whatever happened? Did you did you line up a buyer for your blue Otani or what? Well, big app, we got a couple boxes left, so it's possible. Do you have a do you have the amount set up, King, or do you not care to disclose it? I know, boy. It's crazy, man. It's absolutely insane. Seven money, man? Oh, man, that fill is going to suck. Shade Thrower, that's confidential information. What makes you think that I would reveal that to you, Shade Thrower? Why would I tell you that, Shade Thrower? No, I don't hate you. I told you not to tell people that. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I might have a couple. I definitely don't have a ton of them. I can promise you that. I will have some more 16. Regular draft should be tomorrow. Yeah, Micah, it's... You know what's funny, Micah? There are some people that I know what they look like now from social media. But, like, when someone rolls up to me at the National, you guys have, like, the total... Like, when you guys come up at the National and you're like, Hey, D, what's up? I'm like, uh, who are you? Because I don't know, you know? 
It's and people are like, oh, it's blah blah blah. Oh, hey, hey. You know, I don't. I have no idea. I'm looking at some. Like, hey, D. It's like, oh, hi. Who are you? Seventieth <laughs> Gaddis for the Rockies. Mackenzie Gore, class of seventeen. 141 of 250. Bapa's crushing the break. He goes, you stalked me, didn't you? Creep more? What are you talking about, Mushu? Yeah. Hey, D. Hi, who are you? Yeah, I only, I only, like, some of the guys on the, I only got back on Facebook for the for the social media with the guys in the Plotfam group to try and keep keep tabs on what's going on in there. I had deleted Facebook for the longest time because because of all the shit that he had to testify about. You, you knew something was weird was going on there, so I didn't want to be involved in any of that shit. But What did they do? They had a... What was it called? What was it, uh, Mushu? Was it a... Was it a hearing or whatever? I don't even know. What the hell did he... What did he have to do? It's some kind of a hearing on the, uh... Practices of Facebook and ads and all that other shit. Whatever the hell they call it. <clears throat> I don't know if it was a testifying, a hearing. I don't know what it was, but... Green paper Lugo for the Tigers. Purple, what the puck for Oakland. And for the Mariners, Sam Carlson. <sighs> Good drugs. I'm not on any drugs at all, Mushu. Clean as a whistle, baby. <sighs> Those days are behind me. Water under the bridge. He did, what what was he they were they put him on the stand he had to talk about they asked him a whole bunch of questions right what the hell was that called a deposition a hearing what did he have to do what was that called absolutely not Chetor. you're acting like oh my god Zuckerberg from Facebook you dumb nut <laughs> Zuckerberg Facebook a dude. Hell no, Chase. Some of the best hits we pulled from this year's draft has been in Super Jumbo. Well, who else did you think I was talking about? Jesus, Mushu. We were just talking about Facebook. Purple, uh, blue Ramos paper. 70th house for San Diego. Holy smokes, Bob. Are you kidding me? What a case for the Padres. Refractor Gore. What? 50 of 499. The third gore this case. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> Fucking king. I can't, king. Somebody ban the king, please. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. I cannot deal with that shit anymore. He's gone. <laughs> Okay, you got it, DC. No problem. Fucking queen, man. You got to stop that shit, 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 King. You got to stop it. You know, you got to let people have, like, a 30-second moment of glory before you go rolling out the off-centered bullshit. Come on, man. Listen, as far as Bop is concerned, that card's a BGS black label until it's graded, all right? And you should feel the same way, pal. Damn, King. Ruining everybody's freaking parade.
Hell yeah, shade thrower. <laughs> Show the surface. What do you mean? Two Saint for the Braves. Silver paper. Fiedo for the Tigers. Actually, I think 2017 as a whole, the cards have graded very well. Two thousand seventeen. I haven't graded much uh, eighteen stuff. I actually, we actually just got a submission back today <clears throat> from the eight. Uh, might have an eighteen, a couple eighteen cards in there. I'll have to look and see how they're grading. Seventeen. I know seventeen as a whole graded pretty fantastic, actually. Blime, is uh, is Hiera pushing the Brewers to the brink of uh, filler team status for this product, Flyman? Well, Tim, I was thinking 16 draft super jumbo, but we may not have any teams left to do a filler. So, open it on camera. Oh no, G already started plucking through it, Orleans. <laughs> That'll be some nice cards for a uh, for a a showstopper or a premiere at some point. He goes, uh, yes, yes, he is. <laughs> no, not your green king, because it's off-centered. And has got surface issues. Sheffield for the Yanks purple paper. Rios blue for the Blue Jays. Blue auto cash case. Non-streaky. Nice one there for the Red Sal. Another cash case. 115. He says it's great at 9.5. Shut up, King. Nobody has to. <laughs> 9 9.5 slash 4. <laughs> Dropping sevens for Paulie. Is that is that the amount of spots you want in the uh, sixteen draft super jumbo filler? You guys are a bunch of freaking comedians, man. Sell G a gold, uh, gold Bobuchet autograph. Well, it came back BGS nine, Bob, but we're gonna need a refund, pal. It got two nine fives and two nine subs. It did have two nine five subs and two nine subs, so four on them. Yeah, we're gonna resubmit it. Definitely. He did get a black one back that a black one came back nine five ten. That's a nice one. 
That's what I'm saying, Orleans, right? Filler in 16, Tim, is uh, the Blue Jays. So for those of you who kept dibs on it, did you guys tend to see more or less Bo Bichette in first run cases of 16 draft or second run? Papa might know the answer to that because he usually keeps track of those numbers, or at least he says he does. Do you know, Bob? Raleigh Waddell for the Twins. Joe Perez Gold for the Astros. For uh, 16 draft, do you happen to see, do you recall knowing or noticing more Corey for the Giants again? Um, Bo Bichette in first runs or less? Or the or the second runs? More Bo in the beginning or less? Because I'm pretty sure the Super Jumbos I have are from the beginning. Like, I don't remember reordering Super Jumbo in, six, in 16 draft. I think these ones that I have, I have a few of them. Two or three of them, I think. They were from the first run. Because we did, we stopped doing the Super Jumbo pretty early. What is this? Yeah, I mean, it's close. 69? Yeah, it's gonna be close then. I think that I think they're pretty close. If, if, if it's not the first run. Yeah, I think it's from the first run from that year, to be honest with you. Well, I guess we'll find out if there's uh some Bo Bichette in there soon enough. We're gonna try and find it. Green Paper Newman for the Pirates. Ibanez Texas Purple. And Pearson for the Angels. We just pulled a blue Bichette uh, Sunday? The other day. It was earlier, less than a week ago. What asshole picked this case? Guy totally deserves to be fired. <laughs> Busby for the Pirates, blue paper. DL Hall for the Orioles, seventieth blue. Purple Kyle Wright for the Braves. Holy smoke, shade thrower. That's number 74 of 250. Papa says, of course. <laughs> what are you talking about, King? King, are you even in this break? King, quiet down, King. Now. King, quiet down. <laughs> Shut up, King. King's not even in the break. He's asking for bonus shit. Oh, come on, man. You got something?
Yes, contrary to your con your popular belief that you have there, pal. We don't make any more money if you don't get any hits in the break. It's not like I make more money. I'm rooting for you to get a hit. Always believe that. Throttle for the Reds. Four ninety nine. Juan Hillman for the Indians Blue. And for the Marlins, Brian Miller. We had to ban JRG King. Yeah. We had to ban him. Touche, DC. <laughs> King, you're being offered some Pirates cards from Paulie Michio on the tube. D. Play a hated degree. Garrett Hampson? That's the Rockies dude, no? You got the Rockies? Worst case, Chase, you're out of your mind. Chase, you're out of your mind if you think this is the worst case. You're crazy. Ernie Clement for the Indians. Refractor Auto. We had cases, plenty of draft cases, with no big names at all. At all, period. Nobody. You just get them. That's part of the mix, man. Stewart for the Tigers, purple. And Evan White, refractor for the Mariners, wraps up the case. He's just, he's just exaggerating. Check yourself or you wreck yourself. <sighs> Sorry, big app. What graded 9.5? King, you're talking like... What red auto, King? Kyle Wright red? How much is that worth? Now this might not have been a great case, but not it's not even in the conversation for worst case. Believe that. Believe that. I'm not afraid to say a case sucks, but it ain't a worst case. What number pick was Kyle Wright? Fifth. My freedom of speech says you're wrong, Chase Perry. Sorry, pal. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Exactly right, Chase. Who cares? Bucket. That's the spirit, Chase Perry. That's the spirit.
You're right, James. Worst case I've ever seen. Period. Bar none, Dunsky. Hands down. You win. What's up, Moosey? Refractor Evan White Mariners, Clement Refractor Indians, Miller for the Marlins. Kyle Wright Purple for the Braves, Pearson for the Angels, Seth Corey for the Giants, Cash Case Blue for the Reds, Fiedo Tigers, Gore Refractor Padres, Carlson Mariners, Class of 17 Gore Padres. Brody Refractor Mets, Lutz Brewers, DL Hall Purple Orioles, Beck for Oakland, Solomon Astros, Pearson Blue Jays, Mackenzie Gore Defining Moments, Padres, Joe Perez Astros, 70th Fairchild Reds, Lothar, Orioles, Hensman White Sox, Pearson Refractor Angels, Vientos Mets, Corey 70th Blue Giants, Murphy Brewers, Hazily Phillies, Cash Case Green Reds, Gonzalez, White Sox, Colton Hawk, Blue Wave, Marlins, Walls for the Rays, and Joey Morgan, Detroit Tigers. Wraps up the worst case ever of Bowman Super Jumbo. Thanks, fellas. Doodle -doo, doodle -doo.